In order to start using MDB CLI, we have to install it first using npm. If you don't have npm installed, you can easily do it uh, simply by installing Node.js. Uh, so check our other tutorials on how to do it. Now, once you have npm installed, open a command prompt or other terminal depending on your operating system and use following command npm install minus g mdb dash cli after a few seconds mdb will get installed to use mdb cli and easily initialize new projects as well as publish them to our servers and host for free you need to log in first if you don't have account yet please go to mdbootstrap.com and create one for free now. Now let's log in to MDB CLI. Type MDB login and provide your username and password which you use to log in at mdbootstrap.com site. Now we are ready to initialize our first MDB5 project. So navigate to the location of your choice where you want to create a project and type MDB init. Choose material design for Bootstrap 5. In few seconds, your project will be ready. Now navigate to MDB5 folder and open it in editor of your choice. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. Let's open index.html. This is our starting page. Let's build some new page now. We're going to start with adding header, main, and footer sections. Now let's navigate to MDB5 docs and search for navbar. Copy the code, paste it inside our header. Let's change class of our container from container fluid to container and save it. Now our navbar is centered. Now let's add footer. Find a footer in the documentation page. Copy the code and paste it inside footer section. Save it and check the page. Okay, now our footer is ready. Let's take care of our content. We will add it in main section. Let's use bootstrap grid. Add container. Now let's add row. Now we will add two columns. Inside the first column, we're going to add a picture. Let's save it and see how it looks now. Now let's add some classes to make our image responsive. We'll also add two more classes to add some shadow to the image and to make it corners rounded. Now inside the second column, we're gonna add heading. Some line and paragraph. 
Okay, now we need some margins. We will add them to our main section, margin top five, as well as to our row, margin bottom four. Okay, finally, let's add portfolio of our projects. In order to do that, we're gonna add another row and three columns inside it. Now let's use card component. Navigate to cards documentation. Copy code of the image card. Now let's paste it in each column. Update the images. And add some extra class to make it even more responsive. Let's add remaining margins in the bottom. And our page is ready. Now it's time to publish our page. Get back to command line and type mdb publish. If your project doesn't have package.json file, it will ask you to create it. Name your project and set remaining properties. You can accept default values. Now confirm finally all the options and within a second your project will be published. You will see the address of your page in a console, copy it and paste it into browser. Voila! Our page is ready and published on the internet so that everyone can now access it.